Good evening, and uh, I bring to order this meeting, regular meeting of council for October the 5th, 2021. Result of the agenda for October the 5th, 2021, regular meeting of council be adopted. Moved by Councillor White, seconded by Councillor Friesen. All in favor? Opposed? Carried. Uh, Deputy Mayor Wintoni is uh, is not able to attend tonight, and Councillor Morio is attending uh, via Zoom. And we have uh, Chief Fedorchuk on, and also uh, Mr. B. Fedorchuk on Zoom, as well as CFO uh, Ganita. Result of the minutes of the September 21, 2021 regular meeting, council meeting, uh, be approved. Moved by Councilor Bobbick, seconded by Councilor Delorier. All in favor? Opposed? It's carried. <clears throat> Down to six, 6.1. Result of the building permits 5921 through 6121 with a total estimated value of $33,000 be received. Moved by Councillor Delorier, seconded by Councillor Bobbick. All in favor? Sorry, discussion. Uh, I missed that part. Sorry, Councillor Morio. I'm just voting. Oh, you're voting. Okay, I'll call the question again. All in favor? It's carried. Usually, Council Morio, there's a bit of a delay, but you're way ahead of it, so I don't know what was happening tonight. <clears throat> Result of the Director of Public Works. Oh, do we even have it in here? Oh, you do it now. Okay, I didn't see it here earlier. Result of the Director of Public Works report be received. Moved by Councilor Friesen, seconded by Councilor Delorier. Discussion? Councilor Delorier. Um, not in the report, but how are they making out with the assessment at the lagoon? Have they started uh, that? Yeah, they're getting uh, the geotechnical assessment. That'll be coming up shortly because the crops are off now, so they'll be able to access that, okay. to do the drilling, and then continue on from that. Councillor White? Uh, surveying north of the cemetery. What's that about? Uh, for the future expansion okay. and because uh, we have block 17 it's getting close to being filled and uh, there was some discussion on uh, just going to columbariums but it sounded like council wanted the option of having full size even once all the blocks are full so that would be where the blocks were going so while I was away I had a niche uh, my assistant doing some surveying out there Get some preliminary layout so we can see how we can fit them in next to the trees because there's that uh, the river so we got to be a little ways back from the river where we could have a little turnaround so just some preliminary work on that. So I have to assume then that the councils before us uh, the wisdom and the foresight to purchase that land some time ago. Yeah. Wonderful. Thank you. Further discussion? All in favor? Carried. <clears throat> Other reports, uh, council reports. I'll start with Councillor Delorier. Nothing to report for me. Okay. Um, Councillor White. Uh, a few small meetings. Uh, I had the uh, pleasure of attending the Swan Valley Business Consortium meeting on the 23rd of September and uh, the main topic of why I was here representing our council and Prevalent Health was trying to link the LPN programs with the BN programs where they could train. So uh, the Swan Valley Business Consortium was very much in favor of uh, trying to make that happen. Uh, on the 24th, I had the pleasure of attending with yourself, uh, Your Worship, the uh, Albert Chartrand Friendship Center Daycare, daycare Ribbon Cutting, a $1.8 million investment in our community. 14 staff, it goes on and on, and uh, I'm pretty excited for all of us to be part of that process. Our cow meeting we all attended. 
Uh, another thing that brought me to reflect, and I think I need to do more of that, was on the 30th of Truth and Reconciliation, <coughs> Reconciliation Day. Uh, your Worship, you, Mars, myself, and uh, others, I'm sure, uh, to reflect on uh, where we've been and where we want to be in the future and how to prevent uh, bad things from happening in the future by reflecting on our past to some degree. Also, the pleasure of talking with the fire chief today about a, uh, a matter that probably dealt with the camera better, but I, I want to compliment him for his uh, professional demeanor, the fact that he explained politely and the, the process and the protocol. So the fire chief, uh, well informed, and I appreciate the way he dealt with me. And uh, I also went to a meeting today uh, where the, the woman, uh, Shelley Glover, who wants to be premier, uh, we listened to her, and uh, some people from the community were there. And uh, your worship, you talked about it, Mr. Morio talked about it, I talked about it. And two of the main things that I was hearing, uh, including economic development, was uh, what she, how would she get us that CT scan? What would she do to make that CT scan uh, come to fruition? She certainly listened. Uh, your worship, you and uh, Councillor Morio had her here for a while at the beginning, and uh, I appreciate that. And we also talked to LP, the fact that the 20 year management plan has not been approved to date and we're wondering what she would do about it if she was Premier. So she, she listened, uh, she's positive, so uh, I appreciated hearing what she had to say. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> Councilor, uh, Councilor Morial. Uh, nothing additional to me, just uh, last week's cow meeting and then uh, the same meeting with uh, Conservative leadership candidate uh, Shelley Glover. Had her here for a bit with uh, some other you guys. Uh, they're not enough now. Okay, thank you. Uh, Councillor Friesen. I also attended the cow meeting and I just want to uh, remind everybody about October the 16th. The uh, communities that care are busy hosting a Halloween family night at the museum. And so bring your kids out. Hopefully it's a nice night. Okay. Okay. For me, kind of a repeat maybe of what was said, but I guess on my own take, I did have the honor to uh, uh, participate in the sod turning of the, uh, the new child care center that is being constructed by the MMF, and I uh, had the opportunity to share that with Minister Gooden and Minister Chartrand of uh, the MMF, as well as Director Ken Monroe, and, and there were some good words spoke. And um, looking forward to uh, their new development in, in the community and, and our partnerships that, that we have been working with, uh, not only with uh, First Nations governments, but also with MMF and, and moving forward with that. <clears throat> and on that, yes, we did have an opportunity to, uh, to walk on the first National Day for Truth and Reconciliation and uh, had the opportunity to, to do that with many people in the community and it was good to see a lot of people out that day and uh, I thank also the Albert Chartrand Friendship Center for organizing that event which was very meaningful for many and uh, to, for us to <clears throat> I suppose uh, begin the process of healing and, and moving forward. I had a meeting with the co-op management team uh, which we will discuss in uh, camera and as well as what Councillor White said, that uh, had an opportunity to meet with the um, uh, the candidate, I guess, for uh, the leadership and of the PC Party of Manitoba, and also who would be the eventual uh, premier. <clears throat> it was a great opportunity um, because it's always important to keep uh, uh, connections with these individuals as uh, the, the the opportunities arise. And uh, definitely we want to make sure that she heard what is important uh, to our uh, council and community as well as the Valley. And we discussed again, like Council White said, the CT scanner and uh, the process of uh, going through that for a number of years. And uh, we need to, uh, we, we, we need to finalize that, that opportunity. I talked to her also about policing costs and how we felt that it's still not a, a fair process of how it's uh, arrived at the municipalities to pay for policing costs. And uh, she discussed uh, um, uh, a plan that has been, I think the government has put out, 
and that is the, the plan for 2050, and that is to involving more of more or less the, the metro area of the city of Winnipeg and some of the neighboring municipalities and, and working together on uh, eliminating um, the overlap of services, the sharing more of that. And, and her uh, saying that she would like to see that how it would maybe um, expand through the, the whole province. So that was pretty um, enlightening, I guess, what she had shared with us. And of course we talked about crime too and where um, the province or where we need to work with uh, the provincial government on dealing with crime. And with that, we'll move on to the CAO's report. If anyone has any questions on the written report, I can take them. Just to highlight, there are a lot going on. I'm spending a lot of time with, uh, with Airport Commission operations report. There's potentially a lot of things about to happen. To, the airport, uh, the Northwest Media Council development agreement is is in with our lawyers. So as soon as we get that back, uh, I can send that to council so they can review. But uh, that will be sent to them. I'm just prepping for a union negotiation meeting next week. Uh, our rec director is looking into security slash monitoring options for the town due to some recent activity we've had. Uh, and just to, just so council knows, expect to clean up at 419 6th Avenue South. We always get comments on the unsightly yard down there, so it will be cleaned up after the 15th. <clears throat> okay, Councillor uh, Delorier White Memorial. Yeah, I see you have a response back regarding the Connor Departments. Or can we have a, that discussion in camera? Okay. Connor Departments, and as well. Uh, the uh, lot seven plan two three seven two conditional sale. Both those things. I got questions for. That would be more appropriate for in camera. And what was it, the second item? Sorry. Uh, lot seven plan two three seven two land sale. Okay. All right. That's it. Yep. Okay, Councillor White. I see a point number two. Uh, I'm going to put this on Valley West. Whatever. <coughs> A waiting response have or have received an invitation to meet. So there's some contradiction there. I'm awaiting response, but I have received an invitation to meet. We are awaiting the response of the two letters we've sent. We have not had a formal response to those letters, just an invitation to meet. So, so we're discuss that. We haven't received an invitation to meet then. Not not by not written, just a phone call, but a formal invitation to meet. We can discuss that in Canada. Because that sentence is contradictory. It is. But okay, it's no problem with that. You're on it, I'm sure. The other one that uh, I, I saw that, uh, oh, okay. Uh, you have a meeting coming up with the Swan Valley Business Consortium and Concerned Citizens. Is there a date for that? Uh, no, I'm, I'm in discussions with them and they're thinking next Friday, but it hasn't been confirmed. As, as a member of that team, since it's conception, I'd like to be invited to. Sure. <laughs> I'm not sure why I haven't been, but I don't want to smell a rat. <laughs> okay. okay, we'll leave it at that then. Thank you. Okay, uh, is that everything, Councilor White? That's it, thank you. Okay, uh, Councilor Morio. Um, two things, the one is moved into camera, but 419 6th Avenue South, Mr. Poole, is, do you mean 6th Avenue North there? Is that oh, the one that's North of the fire hall? Yeah. Down on the last there? Yes, I do. Sorry. My okay. table. <clears> hey, <throat> just for, that was it. For clarification. Thanks. Okay. Anything further? Uh, no. Good. Okay, so moving on then. <clears throat> 10, 10.1. Resolve that. The accounts as follows by be hereby approved for payment. General accounts checks number 28101 to 28142, totaling $171,876.25 as listed on Schedule A. Payroll accounts checks number 4952 to number 4956, totaling $6,775.34 as listed on Schedule B. 
payroll accounts, checks number 4957 to number 4965 for a total of $92,696.52 listed on Schedule C. Direct deposits totaling $600 as listed on Schedule D. Moved by Councilor Delorier, seconded by Councilor Morio. Discussion? All in favor? Opposed? It's carried. 10.2. Result of the annual grant of $1,000 to the Swan Valley Association for Community Living, included in the 2021 financial plan, be approved for payment. Moved by Councillor Delorier, seconded by Councillor Bobbick. Discussion? All in favor? Opposed? It's carried. <clears throat> 10.3, result of the annual grant of $4,000 to the Swan Valley Historical Museum, included in the 2021 financial plan, be approved for payment, moved by Councillor Friesen, seconded by Councillor Delorier. Discussion? Councillor Bobbick? Is, uh, your Worship, is that an ongoing thing every year? Is it the same amount and carries on year after? Pretty much, yeah. Okay, thank you. Further discussion? All in favor? It's carried. 10.4. Whereas the capital budget for the year 2021 included $87,500 for the pool, pool boiler repair, with $40,000 to be borne by the Recreation Facilities Reserve, and costs for such incurred to date have exceeded $40,000. Therefore, be it resolved that $40,000 be transferred from the Recreation Facilities Reserve Fund to the General Operating Fund. Moved by Councillor Friesen, seconded by Councillor Morio. Discussion? Councillor Bobbick. So, I'm under the impression of saying how many years did it go before it failed? Uh, that boiler is original. So it's 2014, so it'd be seven years. So no warranty at all. No. What is the warranty on the new one? Right That's a good question. I don't know. Director Fedorchuk, would you know what the, if there's warranty on the new boiler that came in? Uh, there is a warranty. I just offhand, I don't know it to the to the date. So I'll just um, research that and get back to it. Yep, thank okay, you. Okay, thank you. Yep. Anything further, uh, Councillor Bobbitt? No, thanks. Okay, Councillor Delorier. Um, I see the, uh, uh, we had budgeted 87,000 roughly, and uh, and tonight we made a progress payment for 64,000. Um, do you know what, are are we gonna come in, Is is this, was this the last payment tonight, or is there more to come after that? Or I guess what I'm asking is where, where are we gonna be at compared to what we had budgeted? Mr. Fedorchuk? Uh, we'll, we'll be, um, there'll be one more progress payment, but um, the, actually the capital budget had money for the access door as well, and the whole project came under the boiler amount, I believe. Okay. Okay. Further discussion? All in favor? It's carried. 10.5. Result of Swan Lake Watershed District 2021-22 annual levy for the fiscal year ending March 31st, 2022 in the amount of $13,441.82 be approved for payment. Moved by Councilor Delorier, seconded by Councilor Morio. Discussion? All in favor? It's carried. 10.6. <clears throat> Whereas subsections 306 of the Municipal Act provides that a municipality may cancel or reduce taxes upon receipt of assessment alterations for Manitoba Assistance Services. And whereas Manitoba Assessment Services has advised by letter dated July 20, 2021, 
at property tax roll number 0181150.000 have been removed from the assessment roll having been confirmed reserve status by ministerial order dated April 16, 2021 pursuits to sections 4.1 of the addition of lands to reserve Reserves and Reserve Creation Act in accordance with the Manitoba Treaty Land Entitlement Framework Agreement dated May 29, 1997. And whereas school taxes were levied for the 2021 year, but the Municipal Development Service Agreement dated February 13, 2018, with the property owner, with the property owner does not include contributions towards school taxes leaving the unpaid balance of 956 and 20 cents. Therefore, be it resolved that the unpaid balance in property tax roll number 0181150.000 for the amount of 956 and 20 cents be hereby canceled. Moved by Councilor Delorier, seconded by Council Morio, discussion. All in favor? It's carried. Wow. <clears throat> Resolved the pursuance of sections 152 3 of the Municipal Act. Council go into committee and close the meeting to the public. Topics to be discussed. Purchase services from both our municipal partners, Lot 7, Plan 2372, Land Sale, and Conrad Apartment uh, discussion. Just moved, just moved by Councillor Friesen, seconded by Councillor Bovic, discussion. Councillor White. Point, uh, Your Honor, uh, I, that meeting I mentioned on September 27th is the, the uh, Swan Valley Business Consortium. In fact, it wasn't. It was University College of the North business meeting. So mm -hmm. I think, how did I go to two you, one about my business meetings and there's one coming up? It was a UCM meeting, same topic, same results, but it was not this one about the business consortium. Okay. Here, <laughs> yeah, thanks for clearing that up. Uh, I think for the first part of the discussion, we probably can keep uh, all the directors in place. So, all in favor? Carried. We're in camera. If anybody needs to take a break, Mr. Bobbing, second by Mr. Morio. All in favor? It's carried. We're adjourned. Thank you.